Morning. Morning. Happy Friday. It's November the 2nd and it's a cold one again this morning. There's good news though when it comes to the temperature and that is today is going to be wet again, very wet in places. We're going to see loads of showers today. Uh, highest temperatures of 12 degrees and tonight then the lowest temperature, 11. Oh, so, okay. Roasting. <laughs> roasting tonight. But yeah, a wet one though we're expecting this morning and it is chilly and cold out there now but uh, that will begin to slowly increase as the morning goes on, which is good. Uh, how are you this morning, Irish? Tired girl, tired are girl, you? yeah, yeah. You look tired, actually. Good. Thanks for yeah. that. Thanks very much. We're both wearing our kind of lemon tops again. Should we? Did you not get my text last night? I was going to wear mine, no? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We coordinate. Uh, right. Checking out today's papers. We'll do it in full on the show, as always, at about 10 past 7. we do it again about 10 past 8. Front page of the Irish Examiner. Breast cancer survivors are preparing to launch a fundraising calendar. It's going to be like that Calendar Girls uh, one, the very famous one. One of the participants this time is a man. So it's 16 women, one woman that feature in the nude calendar. Uh, they all underwent uh, mastectomies and uh, oral lumpectomy. Uh, so they're proudly showing off their scars in this calendar. Front page uh, photo of the Irish Examiner today has got them uh, all in the water together. Now, they're part of a boating group. So this has become a thing. My aunt is in a group like this in Wexford, I know. Um, they're uh, cancer survivors who row. So this yeah, crowd the dragon group, yeah. Dra dragons, what they're yeah, called. Yeah. yeah, the cock dragons. So, yeah. um, so that's fantastic and well done to them and hopefully they'll raise lots of money for what is a very, very good charity. Uh, leaving Cert Appeals set to change. Reforms on the way following court ruling. It could benefit up to 350 students. That's another story in the Irish Examiner today. Uh, also in the Times Ireland edition, RTE is being blamed for the dismal turnout at the Pope's Mass. And that's because of their news reports about the long walk that worshippers would have to undertake um, on their way to the Mass. I, I don't think that's fair. I think everybody yeah. was reporting on that. We yeah, were. But to, be, but to be fair though, like, yeah, okay, yeah, you can blame RTE all you like, but there I mean, was a long walk. Th they'd be criticised then if they were like, geez, no one told us it was a long walk. Yeah. No one told us now we'd have to walk so far. That's nothing to do with any broadcaster. That's the fact that the mass was held in the middle of Phoenix Park. Yeah. The furthest from the gate you could get. And as far as I could <laughs> see from the reports of people going there that night, people were like, my God, it's such a long walk. Yeah. So I think that's a little bit unfair. Yeah, but anyway, it's, it's um, the organisers of the World Meeting of Families are complaining to or, or about RTE. Um, also on the front page of the uh, Sun, knife to death at Horror Bash. Dreadful story about a fatal assault. Um, at a Halloween house party in County Kildare. That's on the front page of the Irish Sun today. And the Irish Times legislation may allow other mother and baby exhumations after Tum, says the Times this morning. Uh, the top trends we're waking up to this morning. Amazing Aldi Christmas is trending this morning. Uh, Aldi had their official Christmas launch yesterday and all I saw was photographs of tables full of uh, mince pies, but uh, ah. they had their launch yesterday. Oh God, I love mince pies. Uh, oh, I, I could eat I them all day, yeah, every day. They're not my cup of tea, no at all. Although, I, I mean, I... I don't get me wrong, I'd have one. Warm with custard or cream. Oh, yeah. um, Google Walkout is trending as well. So staff from Google offices and headquarters all over the uh, globe uh, staged a walkout protest yesterday against things like sexual harassment, sexism in the workplace and equal pay. Now, there was another list of other things as well, but it also included the, the Dublin offices, which, of course, is the European headquarters I for thought Google. Google was supposed to be the place to work. Yeah, by all accounts, not, not, not so. Uh, I, I, I was laughing at the Virgin Media U News yesterday evening, Zara King, who's an excellent reporter. She went to try and talk to some of them. Mm. And one girl walked up and she's like, um, excuse me, pure American, excuse me, you do not have permission to talk to us, so we cannot talk to you guys. And her point was, well, we're here as part of the media. Tell us why you're walking out. Yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah. And then she was all like turning her back, blocking them off. Oh. I was just like, anyway. So yeah, it was an interesting news report yesterday outside That's the Google really headquarters. That's really strange. Like Google has this great reputation. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic place Bean to work. bags and they have their own McDonald's and everything. But there you go. They can bring their pets to work, I've heard. Yes, this is true. And it was World Vegan Day yesterday, which was one of the uh, things we were sp speaking on yesterday's video. Well, it is trending then this morning. And uh, of course, if you if you click on the, the trend, uh, the hashtag itself, you'll see uh, both negative and positive stuff for it. Uh, and one of the things I picked up on was a positive one. It says, veganism is the easiest avenue to reducing our impact on the planet whilst uh, simultaneously ensuring animals aren't mistreated for our taste buds. That was one of the things I, I clicked and I saw The happy pair were even more weak for themselves than they normally are. Oh yeah. <laughs> like they're normally now in love with themselves. Right. Yesterday on World Vegan Day, oh man. Oh. I'll oh, have, I'll, I'll vegans have, on steroids. I'll have to click oh. on some of that stuff. They were <laughs> loving it. <laughs> and I, didn't actually, I didn't know they were vegans till lately actually. The I happy thought they were pair, vegetarians. Yeah. Actually, I'm mad for the veganism. Sorry, this is like two days running now that yeah. I, I've confused them because I do know that there is a huge difference between veganism yeah. and vegetarianism. But I also thought that they were vegetarians. I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't know they were vegan until lately, and I started following them on Instagram. Um, like they're gorgeous-looking fellas. Yeah. 
Would you say so, yeah? Oh, yeah. they are, yeah, yeah, yeah they are. Like they're a good advertisement for veganism, like. They're no Andrew Morrissey. That's good. They, like, they are. They've great. They're fit, like. Yeah, they know? are fit. I'll give yeah. them that, yeah. Well, like, there's, there's um, another, there's a friend of mine who works in radio as well in Dublin, and, uh, He's a real gym guy. Like, I mean, to to look at him, he looks like a rugby player. He's oh, a the big gym guys are all getting guy, into like. the veganism. Yeah, I mean, he, he was only telling me at the radio awards that he's a vegan. I was like, oh, she's fair to because this guy is, you know, a monster when it comes to muscle tone and everything else. But fair play, fair play to him. And more than a quarter of Irish men have never told their dad that they love them. Oh, stop! <laughs> Just men? Uh, sorry, people. Did I say men? Yeah. Oh, it's their dads anyway, yeah, sorry. More I than Irish more people. More than a quarter of men. Yeah. Uh, more than a quarter of Irish people, so men and women, have never told their dad that they love them. That's I tell my dad uh, I love the them Irish all the time. Paper, in the papers there as well. As it well. embarrasses him. Love you, Dad. He's on my Facebook. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, he'll he'll meet somebody now today who'll say it to him. <laughs> she was saying she loves you there this morning on Facebook, and he'll be just like, eyes thrown. Will he do this? <sighs> yeah. He'll be like, oh, she's, she mortifies me. Class. I do. I do love him, though. But anyway, yeah. sure. That's. I don't mind saying it, but obviously I'm in the. Oh no, I was consuming the minority. I'm not. Quarter of our people. Do you know what? If you've never told your dad you love him, maybe today's the day. Maybe it is. The day after World Vegan Day. <laughs> yeah, it's also Day of the Dead, the Mexican um, day, Ooh. the traditional day where they say that dead people come back to life or dead family. And it's it's the, the animated film Coco, which is very good. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's a lovely film. It's all about that. Yeah. Um, and there is a name for it. We were just on with there a few minutes ago. We can't think of it, but it's in English. It translates to Day of the Dead in Mexico. So. And it's All Souls Day here, of course. Yeah, so exactly. Same, yeah. Kind of same thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have kind do of you know what a I, Portuguese version. Do you know what well. I was not able for now on Halloween? Right, what? people on Instagram and Snap. That's kind of where people bear their souls more than Facebook. I find right. Facebook's a bit more the crack. Yeah. But on Instagram, people like to you know, you know, um, but like talking about things like. Halloween like I can feel that the spirit world is closer to this world and all this kind of these people who never talk about anything like this like they're just like usually posting pictures of selfies with showing off their contouring skills or something and all of a sudden then on Halloween they were in touch with the spirits I was like unfollow 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 on good thank you because I was just going to say it's the only way to stop these people is to just not watch them they don't have an audience yeah Oh my god! I feel like the veil between this world and the next is thinner. Oh, can, can no, I have break? to admit, I did feel like the veil between the next world and this world was thinner. I did feel well, like you that. Hung I, over? Did, I did feel. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I was going to puke. I feel puke. that veil is thin sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Halloween! <laughs> I great. get close to the the edge. I'm close great. to the other side sometimes. Hashtag great times. Come here. This is happening this weekend. How's Always that? backwards. Oh yeah. Well, like he's a, a, a backwards person still looks like a person. No, I'm saying the, the letters are backwards as well. I mean. Oh, that doesn't matter. Everybody knows it's a beautiful face. I should flip that camera, by the way. We can, we can flip that. Um, the Christie Hennessy uh, Festival is happening this weekend in Tralee. So if you're in and around the Tralee area this weekend, loads of really good stuff happening today and tomorrow. Uh, the Ash Hotel in Tralee is the place to be. And uh, Francie Conway is going to be on the 11 to 1 Club later this morning to give us a full rundown of uh, what's going on. There's the Troubadour Club and then there's the there's a vocal workshop happening. There's a music business workshop as well. And then it all culminates tomorrow night with the Christy Hennessy songwriting contest as well, which is happening in the Ash Hotel at eight o'clock. So if you're uh, looking for something fun, I, I usually go to it. I'm away this weekend, but uh, this is a really, really nice event if you can make it. Nice so, one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, check it out Christy so far fan right as well, so. at the Ash Hotel in Trolley yep yeah, so that's it from our video for this morning we got to go we got to go in studio and we got to get this show going uh, between 7 and 9 here on Radio Caru let us know what your plans are for the weekend we'd love to hear about them yeah enjoy good luck bye